this video, we'll be talking about coronavirus in dogs. Is it really possible for the dogs to be infected with coronavirus? To find the answers, let's jump in. The novel coronavirus, which has caused an unprecedented stoppage of human activity around the world, has been named as SARS-CoV-2 and the disease as COVID-19. In COVID-19, the disease affects the respiratory tract and causes pneumonia in lungs, leading to difficulty in breathing, coughing, and fever. CNN has recently reported that the samples from a 17 years old Pomeranian dog's nasal and oral cavity were tested to be positive for the novel coronavirus. This case emerged in Hong Kong where the 60 years old owner of the dog was also tested positive for the SARS-CoV-2. While it was initially being thought that the virus was just on the surface, but later it was confirmed that the dog had a low level of infection. South China Morning Post claimed a few days ago that the Hong Kong confirms the second case of coronavirus in dog. While the dog is reported to be a German Shepherd, the virologist believes that the two cases of coronavirus in dogs are an example of human-to-animal transmission and not from the animals to humans. Well, according to the Time magazine, there are two reasons why the news did not get viral. First, when the first case was reported, it was being taught that the results were not yet conclusive. It was too early to say anything about the disease. Second, the animal welfare activists believe that the pet owners may panic in response to the news and may abandon or even kill their dogs and cats. Now that the second case has been reported, the potential of dogs in transmission of coronavirus is being questioned. Are the dogs really susceptible to coronavirus? Do they even have the receptors for SARS-CoV-2? Is there anything we could do about it? You'll have the answers by the end of this video. The global epicenter of the disease is Wuhan, which is a populous city and a transportation hub in central China. The virus was then transmitted to almost every country in the world through the air travel primarily. The origin of the virus is thought to be a live seafood market in Wuhan. These live animal food markets are everywhere in China and have been criticized by many of infectious disease experts. Scientists believe that bats are the primary hosts of coronavirus. The pangolins get this virus from bats and then act as secondary hosts, thereby transmitting the virus into humans when eaten as raw food. Till the day, the disease has spread at a very rapid pace and has been confirmed in 175 countries throughout the world. There are some countries which potentially have the cases but could not report because they lack the basic facilities for testing the virus. It was due to the extreme globalization that for the very first time ever in the history, a disease was declared a pandemic by World Health Organization within a few weeks after the first reported case. While the Johns Hopkins University is updating the figures case by case, the figures are changing every single minute, and that makes it even more frightening. By the time we are making this video, more than 500,000 cases have been reported to be confirmed, and it is believed by public health officials that there are a lot more number of unconfirmed or unreported cases around the world. 
although the case fatality rate is just around 3 to 8 percent so far. Depending upon the healthcare facilities of the countries, the high transmissibility of the virus suggests that if only 50 percent of the world gets exposed to the virus, this can kill 180 million individuals around the world. The total number of deaths caused by SARS-CoV-2 are way more than MERS coronavirus and SARS coronavirus, which indicates its lethality and virulence. Due to the better authoritarian control and advanced healthcare system, the best ratio of the recovered cases was observed in China. The rest of the world has reported very little ratio of recovered cases, which is partly because the virus is mutating continuously, and more virulent strains are emerging in the rest of the world. The cases are on the rise since the day it began. However, the graph has taken a steep rise recently, with 27,000 cases reported on March 21st only while the percentage of recovered patients is decreasing day by day. Now back to the business. Let's talk about dogs and coronavirus. The Guardian has recently written that after the confirmation of COVID-19 in the dogs, Hong Kong authorities had to warn people to avoid kissing their pets. This warning was issued with the risk associated with transmission of COVID-19 to or from the dogs due to close contact with the pets. Some newspapers also reported about some pets who were in danger of starvation after being trapped inside the home, especially in the absence of their owners. Amid the current coronavirus crisis, the leading Time magazine also stated that China's animal shelters were not able to cope with the number of pets being abandoned. The susceptibility of any species to a particular virus is associated with the presence of appropriate receptors. It has been proved through various research papers that dogs do possess the receptors named as angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, required for viral attachment to the epithelial cells. The Washington Post has recently reported that one of the latest research papers published in Journal of Virology noted that coronaviruses have the ability to attach to receptor cells present in cats and some other animals, which simply means that those species have the potential to contract and transmit the disease. Obviously, what scientists don't want is an animal reservoir, especially one of the ones who are widely being kept as pets at home. American Veterinary Medical Association recently issued a notice about COVID-19 in relation to the pets. It suggested to wash the hands before and after being in contact with the animals. It also recommended to keep the pets well-groomed and their belongings to be cleaned regularly. It also recommended that the people who are sick should limit their contact with animals before there is more research done about the virus and before there is more known about zoonotic and reverse zoonotic potential of the virus. Amid all the fears about coronavirus, there are some positive updates about the virus though. For example, most of the people among 3.5% of the cases who died were having existing conditions, and most of the patients do recover after some time. Their body may become immune for the next six years, especially to the strain of the virus to which they were exposed. Also, majority of the infections are mild, and only 4.7% are critical. The epidemiologists say that the curve can be flattened only by the protective measures. So here are the takeaways for you to practice. If you really want to stay safe, no handshakes at all, no social gatherings. But yeah, 
wash your hands much more frequently than you normally would do. As we have put a lot of effort in making this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.